Hello everyone, welcome to the first episode in this multi-part series where I will be showing you how to make a save slot system in Roblox. Now what this save slot system does is you can save some data and next time you join the game you can load it back up again and you can just start where you left off. So here I have an example which I have loaded up in my Roblox studio and it's basically a simple GUI with two slots that lets you save and load some data and in this case the data is the text that you enter in this little widget on the top left. Alright so let me really quickly show you what my example does. So if I type some text in my widget I can save it into slot 1 and I can type in some different text and save it into slot 2 and if I load slot 1 it goes back to my earlier text and if I load slot 2 I get my hello text. Alright, so that was just an example showing how the slot system works. You can put whatever data you want inside here, be it something like stats or block data or something, as long as you are able to serialize it in something like a table or a string. So you can basically save pretty much anything in here if you find a way to properly serialize and parse the data you are going to put in there. So if you're doing something like blocks, like let's say you're doing something similar to Minecraft, you could save block data inside a table or something like that, and when you load the data, you can have a script parse that. I'm not going to be showing you like serialization and parsing, because each one of your games is going to have like a slightly different use case for the system, so I'm not going to show that. I'm just going to show you how to make this core saving system that allows you to save the data to the Roblox servers. Now, if you just want to, before starting, see what this will look like, it consists of a GUI with some scripts, a bindable event, a button, and a slot frame that contains all the slots, and some more buttons to hold uh, the slot load and save buttons. In your server script service, you will have a script that handles the saving from the server side, because you cannot access a data store from the local script side. So you will have to do it via a remote event, which is inside replicated storage. And uh, your server script is able to access that event. And when it gets that event, it will save your data. I also have a load slot remote function, which uh, can be called by a local script inside the save slot GUI. And the server script will return the data corresponding to that key or the slot. So that's it for the introduction. After I record the following videos, I'll upload them when I have time. So um, stay tuned for the next videos. So thanks for watching. That is the end of the video. Uh, I'll see you later. Bye, guys.